Welcome everyone to the Greenmont Care Board meeting. First item on the agenda is the Executive Director's Report. Susan Barrett. Great, thank you, Mr. Chair. I have a few announcements. Um, first, I wanted to announce that our annual <coughs> report was submitted last week. I forgot to um, mention that last week, so it was submitted January 16th to the legislature. It is available on our website, and I um, just wanted to make everyone aware of that in the public. Um, also, just to remind folks about our last meeting of the month next week, where we're going to hear a presentation of the qualified health plans for 2020 the 2020 standard plan design. Then we're also going to have a discussion on healthcare workforce. Um, Kevin and I were up at the legislature this morning in the Senate Health and Welfare, and um, they had a lot of questions and are very interested in healthcare work for, workforce. So I'm looking forward to that discussion. And that is all I have to announce. Thank you, Susan. Uh, next item on the agenda are the minutes of Wednesday, January 16th. Is there a motion? Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of Wednesday, January 16th without any additions, deletions, or corrections. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. The next item on the agenda is the ACO certification. Welcome uh, team to come forward. And whenever you are ready, just take it away. Great, thank you. I'm Marissa Melamed with the Policy and ACO Oversight team. And today we're going to walk through the staff recommendations that we presented on January 9th um, and uh, address any uh, discussion points or questions and um, vote if the board is ready to do that. Uh, so as a reminder, um, there are two uh, components to our recommendations. The new accountable care organization certification requirements and the annual certification eligibility verification. Uh, after our presentation on January 9th, there was a public comment period through January 17th. We received no written public comments uh, on the certification review during that time. So I'm going to walk through those recommendations again. So these are unchanged since the 9th. Our conclusion on the new certification requirements is that they are being uh, met. And we recommend that the board vote to approve One Care's continued eligibility for certification subject to reporting and monitoring requirements that we outlined for the three new certification uh, areas. <clears throat> So the first one was mental health access. And we recommend the board continue to monitor One Care's performance on mental health related quality measures and review its 2019 quality improvement plan and clinical priorities to ensure it is in, um, including and prioritizing mental health. We recommend the board work with One Care on a report regarding its work with designated agencies to create a common consent and redisclosure process, and we are interested in understanding whether One Care is seeing an increase in the volume of protected substance use data as a result of these efforts, and if so, how, to, how it is using that data to better provide or to, uh, to provide better care for patients. On the payment parity area. Um, we do observe that One Care is uh, currently working within its role to establish appropriate mechanisms to receive and distribute payments to participating healthcare providers in a fair and equitable manner um, and to minimize differentials in payment methodology and amounts among comparable participating providers across all practice settings within their role and in a manner that's not inconsistent with uh, healthcare reform efforts. <clears throat> and uh, as part of the 2019 One Care budget approval, um, the board already voted on reporting requirements 
on the ACO's 2018 Comprehensive Payment Reform Pilot, so we're looking for um, final reporting on that program, and then uh, interim reporting on the 2019 Comprehensive Payment Reform Program, and we believe that these reporting um, will allow us to monitor uh, the the work that OneCare is doing to address this issue. Um, so we recommend that these budget conditions uh, that are already in place satisfying, satisfy monitoring for this certification requirement. And on the third new area, ch childhood adversity and resilience. Um, again, the staff observe that OneCare is currently working within its roles in ACO to provide these connections and incentives to existing community services for preventing and addressing the impact of childhood adversity um, to collaborate <clears throat> on the development of quality outcome measurements for use by primary care providers and foster collaboration among care coordinators, community service providers, and families. And our recommendation is that One Care provide a timeline for its 2019 plan to address childhood adversity. And this will include reporting on the projects that are highlighted in this section, including uh, creation of new social determinants of health risk scores, how the ACEs screening tools are being incorporated into electronic health records, um, reporting on the dual say program and expansion and how OneCare will use its analytic capacities to identify cost and utilization drivers to help justify additional resources for childhood trauma and any additional initiatives OneCare will be starting. So we have uh, outlined all these reporting in our reporting and monitoring plan and um, if um, you agree, we will uh, address these reporting requirements with OneCare. <clears throat> Um, as for the annual certification eligibility verification, uh, the, as we went over last meeting, um, the antitrust guidance was released and one care attested um, that they were in compliance with that guidance uh, and no board action is required. We also reviewed the mater any material changes submitted through the certification form um, and found that there were no changes that would affect OneCare's continued eligibility for certification, so no board action is required to continue certification on this item. Though we did identify within the form um, these areas, or sorry, these documents um, that we will add to the reporting and monitoring plan um, for things that we will collect from One Care um, to continue monitoring of these areas, and again, no no board action is required on these. Just to make you aware of these um, reporting and monitoring requirements, and that concludes our recommendations. So we would um, welcome welcome it to any discussion. Or questions. Before we go to the public for any comment, is there a board uh, question or comment? We have a quiet today. Oh, no. Would any member of the public like to uh, offer a public comment? Well, this might be the quietest I've ever seen the board and the public. <laughs> Is there a board member who would like to make a motion? I will in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I appreciate you for thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I move the board approve one chair's continued eligibility for certification subject to the reporting and monitoring requirements as outlined in the staff presentation today. I will second. <coughs> Just trying to check to make sure that covers everything. Does it cover everything, team? Yeah. And essentially, we, our recommendation is that One Care is continuing to meet all the requirements in the statute and the rule regarding certification, and will do the things we've discussed in terms of uh, getting these reports from them, working it into our reporting and monitoring plan, uh, and. Um, until we meet again next year to look at their certification, they will be certified. Okay, is there a second to the motion? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, any further discussion? 
If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? So let the record know it was a unanimous vote. Thank you, team. Thank you. Okay, the, the uh, next item on the agenda is old business. Is there any old business to come before the board? Seeing none, is there any new business to come before the board? First item under new business that I wanted to bring up is a bill has been introduced, um, S14, um, dealing with a moratorium on CONs um, for uh, home health services. And I just wanted to bring it up because uh, we will probably be asked to weigh in. And I thought that uh, I'd bring it up today so that um, we could put it on the agenda for a discussion of its merits and whether or not we wish to take any position at the next meeting. So, any discussion on that? Is there any other new business to come before the board? Is there a motion to adjourn? Second. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you, everyone. Very short meeting. Let's do it. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there.